Hi everyone, I'm Dana Shibley with Verifile. Here are 10 tips in 10 minutes for Verifile users. If you're not familiar with Verifile, then we suggest that you first watch the short video, Getting Started in Verifile, on our YouTube channel. Also, all of you as WSCPA members should know that you have access to the premium version of Verifile, Verifile Pro, at no charge to you, or anyone at all with whom you would like to share information or from whom you would like to receive an electronic signature. Tip number one, raise your situational awareness by using timing indicators. Here I'm communicating inside of the estate planning workspace thread with three different individuals. I can click on any of those individuals' names to see when they were last inside of this workspace thread. I can see that Lisa Lawyer has not yet viewed the information inside the workspace thread. But if I click on Christine Carson's name, I can see that she last viewed this information on Friday, April 15th at 7.44 a.m. Similarly, I can go over to the documents column and click on the gear symbol next to a particular document, then click on view access history. And here I can see that Lisa Lawyer and Sammy Spouse have not yet accessed the life insurance policy, but Christine Carson has accessed it six times. And if I click here, I can see the exact dates and times that Christine has viewed this particular document, giving me a sense perhaps for the intensity of interest that Christine has in this particular document, and also a sense for the recency of this information in her mind. Tip number two when to use private messages versus workspace threads. Here I am inside the contacts area of Verifile where I can see my list of contacts, any one of which I can click on in order to open up a simple, secure, one-to-one -one private messages communication with that individual, where I can type messages back and forth with that person and also securely share files back and forth. If at some point in time, I come to understand that I'm going to need some higher level communication capabilities, such as the ability to share information across multiple people, or the ability to have multiple threads of communication in which I'm sharing different information with different people, then I'm going to want to begin communicating inside of a workspace. And I can do that by clicking on the workspaces tab, and then I'm going to click here on the workspace called Client Christine Carson that I've already created. Here inside the workspace, Client Christine Carson, I can see that I have created two workspace threads, estate planning and tax planning. And in each of these workspace threads, I'm sharing different information across a different group of people. In the estate planning workspace thread here, you can see that I'm sharing across three different individuals. And in the tax planning workspace thread, I'm sharing completely different documents across just two people. Think of the workspace threads as dynamic subfolders, if you will, that are a subset of the larger workspace, client Christine Carson here. And it's very convenient that Verifile has taken the names of the individuals that I've put inside of these workspace threads and added them to my guests list here, where I can have a one-to-one -one communication with any of them at any time. And if I happen to click on one where I've already begun that one-to-one -one communication inside of the contacts area, I will be able to continue that secure one-to-one -one private messages communication with that individual. Tip number three, protect yourself using session management. If I go to the top right, Click on my name, then click on account settings and scroll down to the security settings area. I can click on session management and I can use the slider to indicate to Verifile the amount of time after which if I have been inactive in my Verifile system, that Verifile should automatically sign me out. This is particularly useful for those of you who may forget to sign out of your Verifile system from time to time. Tip number four, 
how to optimize my home screen using sorting. Here I have my list of workspaces and I can at any time go to the top right of my screen to click on the sort tab, which allows me to sort those workspaces via a number of criteria, including workspace name or updated date recently. Similarly, I can go to the contact tab then go back to the sort tab on the right and sort by a number of different criteria, including email, name, or recency. Tip number five, how to optimize my home screen using archiving. Let's say that among my active workspaces, I have a particular workspace, Abel Barnes and Carruthers proposal, that no longer needs to be top of mind for me. All I need to do is click on the gear symbol, then click archive workspace. And now I can see that that workspace has disappeared from the active colored workspace list. But if I click on archive, I can see that same workspace in gray down here. And if I would like, I can click on the gear symbol here and unarchive the workspace if I would like, which pops it back up to the active colored workspace area. Also, you should know that if anyone were to add new content, a document or a message to this workspace, it would automatically pop back up into the active colored area. Tip number six, how to store reference information in Verifile using a workspace thread. You may recall that in the workspace client Christine Carson, I already have two workspaces. I'm going to add a third workspace thread where I can put information just for my own reference anytime that I would like whenever I'm thinking about client Christine Carson. I'm going to do that by clicking on the plus symbol here. There's my new workspace thread, my reference materials. It is private. No guests have access yet. No guests have access. All right, all I need to do is click on the paperclip symbol here and add those documents that I want for reference at my fingertips. Those three documents are effectively in secure encrypted storage inside of Verifile, where only I have the ability to access them. And as you can probably guess, if I would like, in the future, I can give access to anyone else that I would like. Tip number seven, how to store information in Verifile by creating a new workspace. Let's say that I would like to have a place where I can securely store and selectively share information regarding my organization's strategic planning. All I need to do is click on the plus symbol in the workspaces tab. Like that. And there I have a strategic plan workspace. And if I click on it, I'm now in the strategic plan workspace and I can add workspace threads such as monthly status reports, financing, staffing, and I can selectively bring individuals into each of those workspace threads to access various information. Tip number eight, access the document signing archive to see signature records. If I click on my name at the top right and then click on signing the archive, I can see a list of documents for which I've requested and received an electronic signature or that I've signed myself. If I click on the gear symbol for any particular document and then click on view signing info, I can see the full document signing audit report for that signature process. Tip number nine, here are three helpful steps for getting started in Verifile if you haven't already done so. A, bulk upload your contacts. If I click on the plus symbol here in the contacts tab, as you already know, you can enter individuals' contact information one by one, 
or you can bulk import that contact information to Verifile by using the CSV file format, which is the standard file format that software companies use to export and import contact information. If you do so, you will instantly populate your entire contacts list and be able to quickly communicate securely on a one-to-one -one basis with your entire contacts list. And it will be much easier to build out your workspaces inside of Verifile. If you need help importing a CSV file, feel free to go to youtube.com and type in Verifile Contacts to see a short tutorial video about how to do that. B, I want to send a regular old email to all of my contacts, my clients, letting them know that from this point forward, I will be communicating with them in Verifile in order to keep their information safe and secure. C, I want to put something inside of Verifile for my clients, even if that's just a welcome message, because that triggers an automatic email alert invitation to each of those clients, giving them an immediate reason to go into Verifile very seamlessly without feeling like they're going through some onerous setup process and then be met by my warm welcome message and perhaps some other information that I put inside of Verifile. What I don't want to do is invite people into Verifile and put them into a situation where there's no information there waiting for them at all. That's not a good first experience. Tip number 10, do not put all of your clients in a single workspace. It quickly becomes very complicated. Rather, use a separate workspace for each client, particularly for each client with whom you have complex communications, characterized by moving a lot of information back and forth, potentially having several people involved, or having multiple threads of communication. However, feel free to use private messages for clients where you have more simple communication needs. Also, know that as a WSCPA member, you have access to the legacy version of Verifile Pro, providing you with 1,500 workspaces instead of just 30. And those are your 10 tips. Thank you.